Hello and welcome to the Excel Cave. Today we're going to talk about using the sum ifs formula with a drop down selection list. Um, and before I begin, I just want to go ahead and show you the finished product just so you can see what that looks like. Um, in this example, we have a list of monthly sales by region by quarter. Um, and you can see here we want to create a, a drop-down list that summarizes the quarter where we can just select and you can see the sales revenue adjust sums does the sum if based on your selection of the quarter from the drop-down list. Um, so let's get started here. Um, now the first thing you want to do is create a drop-down list and before you do that it's a good idea to just have your list in a range of cells somewhere because when you create it all you have to do is just select this range and you'll have your list uh, right away so to do that you're gonna go up to your ribbon up top and go to data and then there's gonna be an option towards the right that says data validation you'll select data validation and under the settings tab you're gonna select list and then for your source is where you're gonna come and grab that range of cells and you can see it's got the dollar signs in front of it so it's locked which means it's not gonna change it's gonna stay fixed or absolute I'm gonna hit OK you can see now we have our drop-down list and now all we have to do is uh, enter our sum if sum ifs form formula to make it pull off of this selection here. So I'm going to type sum ifs. Our sum range is going to be our sales revenue. So it's a good idea to hit F4 and lock that down. Our criteria range, well we have two. We've got the district or region and the quarter. It doesn't matter which order we go in, we'll just start with the region. I'm going to hit F4 to lock that down. Comma, our criteria is going to be this cell here, which is our East District. You can keep that relative because we're just going to drag it down here. So we want that to move with the drag. So we won't lock that down. Our criteria range two, our second and final is just going to be our quarter. So we're going to hit select that range, hit F4. And then we're going to select our drop down option list that we just created and here since we only have one cell we are going to lock that down you want that to be fixed because when you drag that formula down you want it to always point to this cell so we're going to close that with the closing parentheses hit enter you can see drag this down and you can see that you know the box is still highlighted for cell G3 because we wanted that to stay fixed. We always want that uh, criteria to point to that cell. And you can see now when we change the quarter, it adjusts accordingly. So we can check and make sure fourth quarter adds up to what we have up top. Just do a quick check here. 525, 640, 525, 640. So that's just creating a drop down list to use with the sum ifs formula in Excel. Thanks for watching, guys.